when I injured myself in a race last year and I, and I strained my hamstrings, I literally was like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm mad for a day. I like getting my own way like anybody else. All right. But after one day, I say, okay, now I get to overcome a hamstring injury or learn how to overcome a hamstring mm -hmm. injury. It's when I left my position eight months ago, massively undercapitalized to go start my own business. That's the, that's the, that's the fight I'm picking. That's the challenge that I also know I'm capable of doing because you, if you put these things into perspective, any of the challenges that we face, right. Mm. You often ask your, have to ask yourself, what is the actual tangible bad thing that can happen to me? Like we have to look in the closet. We have to look under the bed, right? We have to see what the boogeyman looks like. And we understand that most of the things we're afraid of are insignificant anyways. Mm. Or when we find out what the true thing we're afraid of, it's like, oh, I'm afraid of failing in business. Why? Well, I'm afraid of losing like my home. Okay. But do you have a fallback? Can you go live somewhere? Are you going to be homeless? Or is it just that you're afraid of losing the life that you're living right now? A lot of us have it in our head that you always have to move up, but mountains don't work that way. They go up, down, around, sideways, back up, like cut across, avalanche, whatever.